Hello, all my good listeners. My name is Bernice Sherman, and I am the Alphabet Lady Storyteller. And today I'm going to bring you a gift of a story. Now, sometimes, boys and girls, stories are really just wonderful, wonderful folk tales. They're passed down from years and years and years, and they're really just pretend. So you should enjoy it and not to worry. They're just a folk tale. The name of this story is called Abby Yo-Yo. Now, once upon a time, there lived a little boy. He lived in town with his father, and this little boy had a ukulele. Now, a ukulele, boys and girls, is like a little tiny guitar, and he'd walk around and strum and strum that little ukulele. But the people did not think he was so talented. They didn't like the noise he made, and they told him to get out of town. Well, the young boy's dad did something special also. He had... You ready for this? A magic wand. Oh, he could do things with that wand. Do you know, if, if somebody was working hard all day and they stopped and they wanted a nice, cool glass of water, he would take that wand and zip, the glass would disappear. Why, somebody was doing the work, they were sawing, 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 and zip, the saw disappeared. Oh, he would do such awful things. Why, why, everything he touched would just disappear. The people were not very happy. They told him to go with his son and get out of town. Why, boys and girls, the word for this was ostracized. They were not allowed to be in that town. Now, in this little place where they all lived together, they would tell tales to one another. And this was just what we call a tall tale. It wasn't true, but it was fun. And this was the story they told. Once upon a time, there lived a giant. And this giant was huge. Why, we could say he was humongous. Well, he was taller than most trees. And his name was Abby Yo-Yo. Now, Abby Yo-Yo was awful to look at. Why, he had black, stringy, greasy hair. His fingernails were raw, real, real long because he never cut them. He was terribly dressed. He looked awful. And his teeth, oh, he never went to the dentist. His teeth were awful. And they said he would walk around and you could even hear the clumps. He had big feet. Well, one day when the people got up, this particular morning, they noticed that the sun did rise, but it wasn't sunny at all. It was like blood red and something was blocking out the sun. And then they realized, oh, they all knew what it was. They all knew as soon as they got to their field and they had all their cows and the horses and the chickens, they all went wild because they could hear something. And this was Abby Yo-Yo and this awful, awful looking thing was clomping around that people were scared to death. Why, my dear children, the lady screamed and, and strong men fainted. It was horrible. They didn't know what to do. And just at that point, the young boy was looking at the window of his house and he said, Pa, Pa, there's something happening out there. We must go and help them. You know, Pa, I, I could play my ukulele and maybe the giant will like it and he'll dance. And Pa, if he falls down, you know what you could do. Zip, you'll get your magic wand. Oh, come on, Pa. So the young boy with his ukulele and the Pa with his magic wand went out to the field where they saw that huge, that ugly, dirty looking giant. What the people had all scattered about. They were afraid. And all of a sudden, the boy started to play. And he started to sing. And listen to me, boys and girls, because you will sing along. He took that little ukulele and you could hear him sing. Abby, yo, yo, Abby, yo, yo. Abby, yo, yo, Abby, yo, yo. Why, it was wonderful. And he played some more. And he played it faster. And soon the giant thought, that song is about me. He's singing about me. Oh, boy, oh, boy. And the little boy played some more. Abby, yo, yo, Abby, yo, yo. Abby, yo, yo, Abby, yo, yo. Abby, yo, yo, be yo, be yo, yo. And then the father, the pa, he took his magic wand. And when that 
terrible giant started to dance some more, he was ready. And soon that giant was so exhausted, so tired from singing, he fell flat down. And just then, Pa took his magic wand and zip! The giant disappeared. Why, the people were so excited. They went and took the little boy and brought him back. And he brought his pa with him. And they carried them on their shoulders back to the town. And they thanked them. And they wanted them to come back and live with them. And as they went back into town, you could hear them sing. And you can help me now. Are you ready? Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo, be yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo, be yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo, be yo yo. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you for lending me your ears today. And don't forget, tell your friends about me. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.